in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how I used my iSight camera, my H4n, and actually demonstrate QuickTimes Player's screen capture ability so that you can use it in your podcast. Enjoy! So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to set up your H4n to be your microphone on your Mac. Okay, make sure your USB cable is plugged into the back of your computer, and then plug it into your unpowered Zoom H4n. It seems to boot faster into the connected USB mode this way than turning it on and waiting for it to boot through its initial setup. Switch down to audio IF and hit your button, then connect and hit the accept button. After about 10 seconds, it will connect. It'll then show you the audio levels. I had to adjust mine up to about 70 to get good quality and optimal loudness. After that, click system preferences, click sound, and then input. Make sure the H4 is the selected input device, then click show all and close system preferences. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I use the iSight camera and iMovie to capture myself right now. First thing I did was made sure my audio was coming from my H4. After that, I moved over to the open camera import window, and then I click capture. It will ask you if you want to add it to an existing event or create a new one. Click down here to change your event's name. I just wanted to add it to an existing test event, so that's what I chose. Once you click on capture, it begins to record. For best sound quality, you should have your H4 less than 12 inches, but more than 4 inches away from your face. This will help eliminate pops and wind noise. When you finish recording, press on the stop button. It will take a moment to process this request, and then you can click on done. It will then show you what you have just recorded in your event below. Lastly, I want to show you how I used the screen capture ability of QuickTime Player to demonstrate how I went through these processes. First, open QuickTime Player. I found using the spotlight as quick as for me. Then, click on File and New Screen Recording. When the screen recording window pops up, click the down arrow to display a list of menu commands. Here you can select your input microphone, change the quality to high, and select where you want to save this file to. When you're ready to begin recording, press the middle red record start button. This will then prompt you with a question. Do you want to record the full screen or drag a part of the screen, such as to capture just an application window? This is what I use just to capture the iMovie application window. When you're ready, click anywhere to start recording. When you're finished, click the middle stop button and it will complete your recording. Now that I've finished this project, I thought I'd share a couple of quick tips I picked up along the way. First, I used an LED flashlight pointed directly at my face to enhance the ability of the iSight camera to capture a better picture. I was pretty unsatisfied with my first capture, but realized that I didn't have any other lights other than the light fixture in my room. Also, when I tried to use the QuickTime desktop screen capture ability, you can't actually use it to record itself. It just blocks it from the screen. So I had to use screen captures similar to print screen on a Windows machine. The quickest way to capture a screenshot on a Mac is to use Command, Shift, and 3. This creates a picture file on your desktop that you can use in iMovie or any other application. While doing these iSight videos like this, you'll create a lot of takes. Don't waste hard drive space by keeping these videos on your hard drive. When you're finished with your project, go ahead and delete the ones that you did not use. This can free up a lot of space after maybe 10 or 12 takes that you don't actually use. So that's it. Pretty easy stuff. Hopefully you guys can make use of this information. Well, until next time, thanks for watching.